Can you make the world a better place? Can you get this cause going all across the Eastern world? This favorite for this cause is on how Jesus was homeless video too. You know, a lot of people will judge the homeless. A lot of people will say that, oh, they must be not doing something right or God must be uh, pushing them. And that's where they're homeless, with their sin. Jesus was homeless. If Jesus was homeless, then how can you judge the homeless and say it's because of their sin? Yes, there are people who are alcoholics that are homeless. Yes, there are people with drug addicts that are homeless. Yes, there are people that have done things bad that are homeless. But does that just stereotype all of them? And even then, is that to stereotype the whole homelessness altogether? You know, does that mean, oh, we should all be homeless because Jesus was homeless? No, that doesn't mean that. However, Jesus said to take up our cross. Jesus said to give up everything. Why? What did Jesus really mean when he said about taking up our cross and giving, giving up everything? Hmm. It could be easily understood. It could be misunderstood. It could be misinterpreted. It could be interpreted in our own way. It's like the Bible is interpreted in our own ways, which is why there's so many different church churches. They're just like calling it the Christian church, and, and we have a bunch of buildings called Christian churches all around. We should, if Christian Christianity is one religion, which it is, and it's not even about a religion, it's about having a relationship with God and Jesus, then it shouldn't be many different interpretations, many different types of churches. It should be just Lutheran or Catholic or Baptist or Calvary Chapel or um, Pentecostal or just Christian. It shouldn't be all these different ones. It is, even when it shouldn't be. Jesus was homeless. You got pastors that are paid a salary. You got all these Christians that you know are living well off. Jesus also said is how great it was that the person who had nothing that gave gave more than the person could afford, more than the person had that you know the person couldn't even afford to give anything, and the person gave you know above and beyond with their little that the person had. I'm gonna say I'm good at the tithing thing. Am I say I'm good at giving up everything? No. Even though I have been homeless, I have given um, my stuff away at times. Sometimes it's because I felt like I had no choice, but at times I was just trying to do the right things. Um, give God glory on all that, not me. Not to boast on anything with volunteering or anything I ever did. Jesus was homeless. Not to say that we should all strive to be homeless, but we shouldn't look down on the homeless and we shouldn't judge the homeless. We should love them, pray for them. We should help them. We should be unconditionally loving to all. It's to say that, you know, anyone that's rich, because rich will not hear him to of God. Anyone is middle class, what are you doing for others? Does that mean that you, you couldn't go to heaven if you're rich? You gotta think of the, what does the scripture really mean to really know if that would be true or not true? Jesus did say give up everything. You know, what about the peop people who are poor, people who are hungry, people who are starving? Some people argue Jesus really wasn't homeless, even though scripture backs it up that he was. He was. How important is to be like Jesus? How important is to be loving? How important is to seek the truth, to be the most amazing people we can be? To have that direction in our life that will bring us positivity, bring us such great hope, such great amazing things. To, to go beyond ourselves, to be selfless. Jesus is almost video too. Uh, help people to see the truth, help people to live better. Be part of the basic cause. Let's make the world a better place together.